guys, Emily here for MLSC Live. Now, Sean Mendes' Illuminate World Tour is gonna be right here at our Canada Center so soon. And Charlie Puth is gonna be opening up for him on this tour. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Charlie's hit single, Attention, is the top five most streamed song on Spotify in the world right now, which is really crazy when you think about it. Not only are we gonna be hanging out with him, but we've invited some of his biggest fans in Toronto to come down to the Air Canada Center, meet him, and go face to face in a little challenge we like to call Artist versus fan. <laughs> All right, so Charlie, we know that you are, you like the Kardashians. Yeah. You're about them. They're so friendly people they're and they have friendly. an entertaining show. You know, I love the show. Mm. It's amazing. Are you guys fans of the show too? I'm crazy yeah. about the Kardashians. Amazing. We're going to have so much fun. So this game is called Who Said That? And basically how it works is I'm going to read you Kardashian and Jenner tweets and you will have to guess which Kardashian or Jenner tweeted it by holding up the correct Kardashian or Jenner face. And the first team mm. to have the most amount of points at the end of the game takes the challenge. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Really nervous. Yeah. Okay, You're nervous? Yeah. 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 No, I'm counting on you. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Tweet number one. Who said that? Do peanuts have carbs? That is incorrect. Both are incorrect? Both are incorrect. <sighs> oh. Oh wait, can we it, do a do-over? We can do a do-over. I can tell you, I can tell you who didn't right. say it. Yeah. That's correct! Okay. Who's that? It's oh. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Next tweet, tweet number four, who said that? Wait, it's legit National Snake Day? They have holidays for everybody? I mean everything these days? Did I get it right? That's correct! Kim oh. Kardashian tweeted that. You just got lucky <laughs> with that one. Okay, this one's an easy one. You guys gotta get this one. Didn't invite the mother of my child to a baby shower you were all trying to throw for me? You all must have lost your damn minds. Chris said that. They are correct. It is Rob Kardashian, Charlie. Okay, let's do one more tweet. Uh, do identical twins have the same exact DNA? Like if one twin murders someone and leaves their DNA, can the other twin get blamed? That sounds like a, now I'm gonna just, that sounds like a Kim thing, right? Yeah, it really does. Yes. Well, I'm only saying that because she said some other interesting things before. So, <laughs> so that's. Both of you guys got those. Oh, okay. So we win. But this challenge goes to Team Charlie's fan. High five, guys. Let's get a round of applause. Listen, I'm, 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 Team Charlie's fan. I'm, I'm happy for my fans. I'm also going to be happy for my fans. You have a chance to redeem yourself in challenge number two. It is called Name that tune. So how it works, I'm going to read lyrics from some of today's hottest pop tunes, and the first person to buzz in with the correct song title or artist gets the point. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. I'm coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> I mean, we'll see, Charlie. Tune number one. <clears throat> Just a simple touch and it can set you free. We don't have to rush when you're alone with me. Charlie. Um, that's I Feel It Coming by The Weeknd, who's that, Canadian. That is correct! <laughs> Amazing! All right, let's go on to two number two. Mm. Go pop it for a player, pop pop it for me, turn around and drop it. Um, that's what I like, Bruno Mars? Yes! Correct. Oh, very good. <laughs> See, I was, thinking, I was thinking of the lyric too much versus just feeling it. <laughs> I'm liking the way this challenge is going so far. Yes. Two number three. She says that she's never afraid just picture everybody naked. <laughs> um, there's nothing holding me back with Sean Mendes. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yeah. Tune number four. When I'm down, I get real down. When I'm high, I don't come down. Julia Michaels, Issues, good friend of mine. That is correct, Charlie. That wraps up challenge number two. Team Charlie takes challenge number two. The high proof. five. Do I get a high five? The last challenge is Giant Jenga. This one's a little bit more physical, obviously. You guys already know how Jenga works, but let's see how each team does in a game of Giant Jenga. Ah, oh, you went for the easiest one. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Good job. Hey. Here we go. Good job. Good job. Good first Yay. Aha. Thank you, Orange oh. Piece. Oh, okay, okay. I'll put it over here so it's leveled out. And I'm gonna Good stand job. up. Yeah. This is a, uh, see that we got lucky on that one. Amazing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all you. Thank you. <laughs> Just 
try it. Well. I think you just have to do it. Grip it like a band-aid? Mm-hmm. Uh, Pull it out like a Jenga stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Guys, you know what this means? That I'm better than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Team Charlie <laughs> takes the win. Uh, you guys are awesome. High five. High five all around. But really. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Everybody's <laughs> high five, Charlie. Everyone wins. Boom. <laughs>